Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Solium S90 Pro 1080p wireless smart IP camera. Alright everybody, welcome back. So a few weeks ago, I think it was beginning of September, I showed you the Solium S60. Uh, that's another solar-powered IP camera. This is the newer version now, or maybe an upgrade. It's not newer. You can still buy the old one. And this is the Solium S90 Pro. Now, this offers a whole bunch of features, maybe a little more adaptable to someone who's living off-grid. Um, it, again, it is wireless. It is completely solar-powered. And as you can tell, got a whole lot more of a solar panel up there. So, I'm going to show you what came in the box, and then we'll get into the details of it, and then we'll test it out. So give me a sec, I'll set it up, and I'll show you what came in All the box. Alright, so real quick, I'm going to give you a detail of what's in the box. I already unboxed it and set it up, but I'll let you know what came with it. Um, of course, you get a cord, and they suggest that you charge this fully before relying on the solar panels to let it run. And it will run. My other one hasn't been brought into charge yet, and that's got much smaller panels, so this will definitely work out here. Um, if you live in a sunny climate, definitely the way to go. If you live in an area that's sort of sunny, not always, I'd go with this one, just because of the more panel surface there. You will get a cord. They give you this. This is a screwdriver. And if you notice, these come, when you get this, folded down like that. But there's a little screw back here. Let me show you the screw. And you will tighten that screw up, because they'll kind of flop around when, they, when you first get them. You'll tighten that screw up, and they're still kind of loose, because they still flop down a little bit. You can set these up any angle you want. So if you're setting this up, say, on the side of your house, and the sun comes up this way in the morning, stays here in the daytime, and then goes here at night, that may be an ideal way to set it up. You'll notice there's three blade antennas here. Really, really cool for much better reception. Um, these do not come on it. You have to screw them on. They'll come flat like that. You screw them on. You just move them to the direction you want. That's usually the pattern I spread them out in whenever I have a three antenna set up, even with a router. Just gives you a little more surface area. So, that comes there. You get the instruction manual, which is actually very good, very easy to understand and read. There's nothing in there that's funky. Mounting information, mounting kit, all that stuff, not information. And of course you get your bracket to mount it on. This is a very sturdy bracket. This is really nice, you know, that's going to hold up pretty well. So we're probably going to mount this in my backyard and take the little one that was on the side, the little one that was in back, and move it to the side of my house. And they give you this little information here, this has got a sticker in it and all that. Thank you for being a customer. So that's basically the kit. Now, like I said, to set it up, you're going to move these in the position you want. I'm probably going to leave them flat because I'm in the back there and the sun comes up in the morning like this and then just hangs over there. And then at night, it's gone. You know, there's no benefit to turning these anyway. So I'm going to leave them with the most surface area so I can collect the most sun in the daytime. But you can set it up any way you want. You'll notice the front of the camera here. You've got your little LED lights for night vision. And the speaker on the bottom. And this is where you're going to be putting in your, your charging, your power, your SD card. I have a little SD card over here somewhere. It can take up to 64 gig SD card. So, let's turn it on. But first, let me give you some information on it. All right, so this unit itself comes with a much bigger battery. This is a 10,000 milliamp battery. It's self-sustained by the three solar panels. The accumulated current produced by the three panels is anywhere from 500 to 1,000 milliamp hours. So the solar panels will fully recharge the batteries within three or four sunny days. So that's why they say to put it outside. I'll be honest with you, my other one hasn't even dropped in battery power. You won't be able to see the battery power on the camera anywhere. But when you connect to it with the app, and you'll use the same app as you use with the other one, you'll be able to see the battery power on it. So really, charge it up fully, put it outside. If you're in a sunny enough area, you'll probably never need to bring that in and charge it. If you do, it just slides right off this here, bring it in. Charge it up, you're good to go. But generally, that won't be a problem. It's made from a special plastic material, so it can extreme, withstand extreme temperatures. We're talking like anywhere from minus 4 to 140. So generally, this is going to be fine in most climates. If you live up in Alaska, sorry Alaska prepper, it's probably going to freeze. But if you can keep it within, uh, you know, a little, little, below, a little above minus 4, you'll probably be fine. You get all the accessories you need. Install time, they estimate, is about 15 minutes. Now, you can download the free app, and I'll show you that app in a second. Um, if you go to your Play Store or your Apple Market, I'm not sure what they call it, um, you can download it. Just to type in S-O-L-I-O-M, Solium. That's how I say it. And you will find it. 
So you can, with that app, and we'll demo this, you can view the camera live, you can take snapshots. It will also call you. It rings almost like a telephone, and you choose to answer it or not, and it will call you anytime there's activity on the camera. It will also record it on the card itself. It also uploads to the cloud, but like I've told people before, not a big fan of the cloud for my own personal stuff. For business stuff, I don't care. You know, who cares if somebody looks at a website I built for a client? But when it comes to personal stuff, cameras, financial information, not a fan of the cloud. So I probably will turn that off and just leave it there. Uh, it does have a very interesting motion detection system. It uses advanced rectangular PIR and radar. Now, not radar in the specific sense, but a version of radar that will allow you to scan an area. And that's kind of what this little... I don't know if you can see it up here. This little area up here is. So they suggest you mount this about eight feet above the ground, and that gives you a whole big open area that it can scan and look for all the time for any motion activity. It also um, kind of keeps it from false alarms. With this, it's a little clearer, a little easier to see what's actually going on without getting all these bunch of false alarms that are annoying. Now, you've got 1080p full HD daytime video quality, and it's got five refined layers of glass lens. It also has high quality LED lights. All those lights on the side there that we showed, those things will give you about 32 feet, 32 feet or 10 meters night vision distance. And you can switch, it switches itself automatically from night to day. The card, pretty simple. You can take any SD card up to 64 gigs. They suggest you f uh, format it in FAT32 format and just install it when the power's off. Pretty simple to do. Um, not really anything difficult. Basically, if you buy one of these off the shelf, it'll probably work fine. If not, you can format it using the tool and the uh, app. So let's get to setting it up and I'll show you how it goes from there. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is install your micro SD card right in there. There's your power button. That's a reset button. You'll hold that reset button. Should anything go wrong, you hold it and it will, I believe it says A or D, and then it resets and you'll hear camera reset. This is your USB port for charging. I hope you can see that stuff. There is no backing support on here, so it is open, what it looks like to the camera, but it's only open in this section. Um, and you have a rubber-proof, rubber-proof, a waterproof rubber grommet <laughs> that goes over everything and blocks out anything. And that's a pretty st stiff, hefty piece of rubber in there. So let me put that on, and we'll move on to the next step, setting it up. All right, so we're running here now, and it's going to start saying the camera is now ready to begin pairing. Now, as you'll notice, I have the app up. That's pretty much the app right there. Not too, not too much to it. It's very, very simple. Um, you can turn your alerts mode on and off with that little switch up here. If you go on there, and it won't ring like I was telling you, it rings like a phone. Now ready to begin pairing. It'll tell you it's ready to begin pairing. So we're going to click on Add a Device, and we're going to Set Up Device. Power on the device. Is the Bluetooth light blinking? Yes. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera. Yes, all right. We're connecting to our Wi-Fi network. There we go. I have two Wi-Fi networks in my house, so I had to connect to it. Now it'll make that... See? It said camera information received. And it's going to go through its percentages and stuff and tell you it's going to make that weird little mouse-like noise. <laughs> So, I'm going to fast forward this part. There you go. I'm going to put in my device name and all that. And I'm going to fast forward this part and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Because all I really have to do is type in the name. And I'm going to call this Backyard Camera. Uh, put in a password for it. Confirm the password. And select where you want the device located. And that's it. So let me set that up. And I'll bring you back when it's running live. Alright, so there it is. You can see where the camera is pointing. And you can see the app. And that is a live view. It's showing me that the battery is full up here. Okay. Up top there, that little green icon. And there you go. So, fairly simple to test and to set up. Um, you can connect this on a phone, and once you connect via Wi-Fi and get it all configured and get the passwords in it and all, um, once that's done, you can use phone cellular data to uh, view the camera. It's just the setup has to be on Wi-Fi. It uses 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It can't use the 5.4 yet. But um, most everybody has that as a default mode. I gotta tell you, the camera um, is absolutely crystal clear on the app. I, you, the camera, this camera doesn't do justice showing you a picture of another camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some video inside the garage when it's dark, just like we did with the other one. Then I'm gonna take it outside and get some video outside for you. 
in the daylight and the sun and uh, bring it back here and tell you what I think of it. All right, so here is the garage picture. Now, again, that this is completely blacked out. Um, I want you to just look at the, uh, I can't do this on camera. <laughs> anyway, over here, that is completely blacked out with a blackout screen, but it's showing up white. Um, it's showing up a little bit of a, a little bit of color over there when it's really completely dark in here. So the night vision works very, very well. Uh, I can't really, let me see if I can tilt it around a little bit. I don't want to drop it. There we go. You get a bigger view of what's going on in my garage here and my table over there where we were doing the video. So let's take it outside and try that part out. Now, obviously, this isn't as high as I'm going to mount it. I'm going to mount it a lot higher. Um, I just have it sitting on top of a garbage can over here. But um, you get an idea of what it looks like outside. This is the video from out here. I'm going to move it a little. Let me pick it up. Try not to shake it too much. Bring it over here. There you go. Those are the mountains you guys seem to like a lot. <laughs> and there's a ham antenna up that way. So there you are. Seems to work very, very well outside. I'm hoping the audio comes through pretty good. Um, the audio when I tested it before was pretty decent. So let's get it back inside, and I'll give you my final thoughts on it and where you can pick one up. All right, so welcome back to Inside. Um, what do you guys think of that audio for a surveillance camera? That's pretty darn impressive. I had to go in and check it because I checked it quickly before. And uh, I was like, wow, that sounds really good. But I didn't really listen. Then I went in and played the uh, videos that I recorded for you guys that we just played. And I was like, wow, that is impressive. So I, I'm liking the audio. This is definitely going to be my backyard surveillance camera. Uh, I got to find a place to uh, screw it in. I may put it right where it is now, you know, over my back door, on my screened-in patio, that little back door area that goes down. It's about eight feet up, so it's probably going to be perfect. But uh, all in all, I'm impressed with the thing. That is one heck of It's a beefy camera, too, so it'll take a lot of abuse. But uh, I'm, I'm really liking it. Definitely a cool camera. So anyway, that is the Solium S90 Pro. It is a 1080p wireless IP camera for um, remote locations, your bug-out locations, uh, Maybe an uh, off-grid area where you don't have a lot of extra power to put out. Something like that is awesome. Yes, you do need internet access to see it. But um, if all you have is a Wi-Fi network or a mesh network, you could probably set this up and just use it locally. And have a dedicated tablet that just is your monitor. Um, I've got it running here. And you can see my very bright light shining at it. And my vice in the corner there and the garage door wall. So, I mean, it definitely still runs nicely. Um, and for, gosh, you know, for a situation where you don't have, see, for me, it's perfect because I don't have a plug outside in the back. I have a plug in the screened-in room, but I'd have to run an extension cord on the ground from the plug on the wall where the house is all the way on the ground or all the way up above it down to that. So to have that without having to worry about power is really cool. So definitely something cool for off-grid situations, for solar backup areas where, you know, maybe you're running on solar and you don't have a lot of power to spare this powers itself it takes care of that for you and um, a very important aspect of being prepared is being informed and knowing what's going on around your property and um, that's why I like to cover these things because people this is kind of like the less sexy side of preparedness everybody likes the guns the food the water the ammo but you know stuff like this is important too as a prepper to keep uh, an eye on things so anyway you can get these for $159 all right, I have a link down below. I have them in my store as well, but I have a link directly to them. Uh, nothing's on sale at the moment, but you can get them for $159. If I do run across a coupon code later, I'll put it in the description, but um, not a bad deal for something that's this well made. And I got to say, the quality of it, you know, when you're holding it, it feels like a decent, beefy camera. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic, you know? So uh, definitely pleased with it myself. I'm going to be putting this up and... Uh, We'll probably do a video update on it in a couple of uh, a couple of months or a couple of weeks to let you know how it's doing. Uh, show you some video that I captured, maybe if I capture anything interesting. There's usually not much back there but bunny rabbits and the occasional stray dog that manages to sneak through my fence. So if I capture anything interesting, I will let you know. And uh, later on, we'll do an update and we'll see how it's holding up. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Like I said, this will be in our Amazon store with the link down below. If you want to check out the Amazon store, click the link down below and just shop as you normally would. It really helps out our channel a whole lot. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link. I did say there was going to be a Thrive video today. It's going to be tomorrow. 
my mistake. I had the stuff ready and just wasn't ready to do it and I had to get this video out. So don't forget to check out the Thrive Life link down below if you're interested in getting started with some freeze-dried food storage. Definitely good stuff. It's not the run-of-the-mill, nasty-tasting freeze-dried. It's really good. And don't forget to check out our Olight link. Olight's got tons of sales going on. You might want to get pre-registered on the site if you go there. And uh, who knows? They might be giving away something with their next flash sale. So it's good to get pre-registered. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content. Thanks for watching, and stay safe and stay prepared.